right now. Where is the mining? The second day of the Intra-Africa Trade Fair was the biggest day for deals for Nigeria. An estimated $1.5 billion was announced in three separate transactions, all of them Nigerians. The value chain. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, the country's state-run oil company, signed a five-year crude export financing deal worth over $1 billion with Afrexin Bank. The NMPC's Project Bison looks to boost investment in Nigeria's oil industry. A similar deal was also signed with Nigeria's Mars Exploration and Production Company, worth $274 million. That agreement is expected to finance the 51% purchase of ADAX oil fields and pay outstanding signature bonuses to the Nigerian government. The oil mogul investor, Abdullahi Bashir Haski, a 33-year-old Nigerian, has become the youngest individual to midwife such a deal of over $100 million in Afrex and Bank's history. Today, oil prices are going up. Uh, oil is doing about $85 today. And uh, Nigeria really needs aggressive uh, and committed uh, uh, hands to be able to get uh, more output out of, like uh, in terms of the production capacity, to be able to uh, ramp up the production of the asset. Uh, $50 million was part of the uh, fundraising we did with Afrexim to be able to, uh, for the production enhancement. Nigeria's aviation sector is also being supported by Afrexin Bank's Letter of Understanding, signed with Blue Horn Aviation and Logistics, looking to bid for the rehabilitation of three airports in the country. If confirmed, debt financing of up to $250 million will be disbursed. Debt financing plays a crucial role in intra-Africa trade development. Executive Director of Ecobank's corporate and investment arm explains further. One of the needs of trading is trade finance. So we bring that to the table as one of the things we can do. Secondly is information. Because if you have a buyer in Lagos who is trying to export to Harare without understanding the environment, you know, the buyers, we also bring this interconnectivity to the table in providing information to buyers and sellers of not just the underground information but connecting people together. Well, looking ahead to day three of the Intra Africa Trade Fair, the focus will be on powering Africa through industrial value chains, agriculture, and then, of course, it's the Ethiopia Country Day at the conference. Yet another opportunity for African countries to showcase what they have on offer under the new Africa Continental Free Trade Area. Adefemi Akinsanya, Arise News, Durban, South Africa.